the Miami Dolphins are in the market for a new backup veteran quarterback says head coach Mike McDaniel, implying Brissett is not coming back. Marcus Mariota had been the long-running favorite to bring in as a backup, but things have changed since then. Which is unfortunate because Marcus would be a good fit being someone that Tua Tungavailoa has looked up to when he was coming up. The quarterback market has dried up, with this coming draft having such few options, so the free agents that might have been looked at as better backup options will now likely have a chance to start with some teams through free agency. Players such as Andy Dalton, Tyrod Taylor, Teddy Bridgewater, Marcus Mariota, Mitch Trubinsky and possibly others on their level will now be getting a chance to start for some teams as the market gets pressed down, which isn't particularly a bad thing. It may not be a bad thing considering the level of commitment being shown for Tua, and the speculation is to not have a great deal of competition coming in that would possibly upset the apple cart. The flip side of this, is lacking a quarterback that might get the needed wins as a backup, because every win counts. Although Jacoby Brissett has considered himself a starter, he is left off the above list, and my speculation is the Miami Dolphins will be moving on from him, or they would have named him, rather than McDaniel stating bringing in some veteran backup without naming him. After the tear-down offseason when Brian Flores was hired, I had a favorite quarterback to bring in as a bridge, and even wrote about it back then. That quarterback was, and now is, as a backup Nick Mullins. Mike McDaniel has some crossover time with Nick when they were both on the 49ers football team. The reason I wanted Nick Mullins back then, was the amazing hot routes I would see being run. This was when the offensive line collapsed and the football is thrown quickly on a short route to avoid a sack, this play was run over and over again, and I wanted to see it happen with the Miami Dolphins after a total teardown. The way this offensive line still is after all this time, what was stated above could still be needed now. Does anyone have any trust that this offensive line will be picking up a new scheme effectively? I have to admit, that aside from all those hot routes during some games, I haven't been too impressed watching Mullins afterwards. However, he was pressed into service starting for around half a season which a backup most likely wouldn't have to endure. Just looking at the stats from those half seasons and stretching them out to a full season, his numbers aren't bad. Nick Mullins isn't that bad of a quarterback, he would make an even better backup quarterback should he be so inclined, and if the Miami Dolphins could entice him away from the Cleveland Browns, the team he is on the roster of now. NFL free agency is under two weeks away now, meaning we are extremely close to the start of the 2022 league year. New Miami Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel and general manager Chris Greer will be tasked with doing everything in their power to upgrade their roster this offseason. Miami is set to have 28 unrestricted, restricted and exclusive rights free agents when the league year starts on March 16, including wide receiver Albert Wilson. Wilson returned to the Dolphins in 2021 after opting out of the 2020 season due to COVID-19 concerns, and after looking really solid in training camp, many believed Wilson was primed to have a great year. Unfortunately for the receiver and the team, that wasn't exactly the case. Statistically, 2021 was the worst season of Wilson's seven-year career, as he recorded just 25 receptions for 213 yards without a touchdown. At 29 years old, Wilson has found a role as a third or fourth wide receiver in the offenses he's played a part in due to his shiftiness and athleticism. That's essentially his ceiling. The Dolphins have seven receivers under contract for 2022, including Jalen Waddell, Devontae Parker, Alan Hearns, Lynn Bowden, River Crawcraft, Cody Core, and Devontae Dedman. Of that group, only two received significant opportunities this past year. With this being the case, it could be stated that the organization needs both top-end wide-out talent and some better depth to make McDaniel, Tua Tungavailoa, and offensive coordinator Frank Smith's lives easier. Because of his poor performance this past year, Wilson likely won't get a huge deal on the open market, and with that need for depth, there's a chance he ends up back in Miami on a team-friendly contract. However, there are some options in free agency in the draft that may be more promising.